Hello and welcome to Infinity. We can have a look now at a selection tool that's not always used but can be occasionally useful. So if you go up to the select menu it's down here, it's the outline. It's not available at the moment because we haven't got a selection so let's make one. If we select this building um, a simple way to do that is to go to the flood select and then we'll select the sky and then we'll invert it so and we go drag across there until that's about right isn't it and then we'll select and invert the pixel selection so now it's just the building but we still got the birds up there so we'll use the selection brush tool here put that on to subtract and then we can paint away the birds so bye bye birdies. There we go. I don't know what they were, They're probably crows, something like that. Maybe even seagulls. Anyway, here we go. So we've got now got a nice selection. And uh, what I'm going to do is going to keep the selection, so I might want to use it later. And to do this, I'm going to click on channels go down to the pixel selection in the bottom, right click that, collect, click there on create spare channel which then brings up this. So I right click on the spare channel and I'll rename that. There we go, building. Um, so this is saves our selection so we can always bring it back if we change it which we might do. So let's go back and have a look at what we're doing here. So we can now go select and select outline. Now if we bring up our menu here, let's see what it does. At the moment the selection disappeared because the radius here is on the zero, but if I increase the radius, look what's happened. It's increasing the amount that's selected. Yeah, see what's happening there? And it's going either side of the line, that's because the alignment here is center. If I change that to outside, there, see the way that it has jumped out to the outside and it's now selected outside the building. So we could use that to put a broad outline around things whilst keeping the detail on the inside. We could use it to mask away um, any of the glow that we, that's happened that we don't want and so on. And if I click on the inside, guess what? As I increase the radius here, it goes to the inside. So I can then select an area for these. So if I wanted to pr process the inside here, for, so for example, I want to say just apply a sharpen to this, I could just select this then uh, let's go to apply it first there we go then go to something like the unsharp filter say let's bring that up and then if i increase the sharpening on this it's happening just on the outside of the building there I uh, can't see it quite so much because of the dotted line, so let's see if we can view, turn off the pixel selection so we can see that. Now if I increase the radius here, you see if I've done it right up, you can see it's going around the, around the edge of the building there. So if I increase the factor here, ah, super exaggerated, but we're not getting any halos on the outside of the building. Yeah, because in this here, when we started this up, it took the mask, so if I Alt click on this one so you can see this is the mask that's created from this. So let's bring up the mask again. There we go. Now we can turn it down to something a bit more sensible. There we go. So let's zoom into the edge of that and see we've got a sharpening effect on the edge here, but we haven't got any haloing on the outside which is often a problem. So if I just take that off, turn that on, so you can the, you can, the effect you can get, it's, it's very subtle. 
go in a little bit closer and off, on, off, on. See that just pulling up there and of course we can increase the, the effect here and turn the factor of it. So again off, on, off, on. Very subtle but just sharpens up the outside of the thing you're selected. Um, the outline radius here is set to the inside made sure that this sharpening only happened within that boundary. Here we go. So let's delete that and we'll go back uh, here. Let's go to the building, right click on the building and say load to pixel selection and view show pixel selection. So now we're here again. We'll do one more little trick we can do with this, which is do something a little bit harder. So we'll put a new pixel layer on by clicking here so the pixel layer appears here. Then we're going to take this selection and go to select, select outline. And well, just for now, we'll leave the radius. We could put it on the outside. We'll in put it down to, in fact, let's just type it into the box here, say two pixels. So it's quite narrow. So now we've selected that area. We'll turn that off. We'll make this nice and big. And we'll get a paintbrush. Here's the paintbrush tool. It's on black. Now if I paint around the area here, it's just going to paint inside those lines. So let's have a look. There it is. Let's go back to the hand tool. See, I've got a big brush zooming all over the place and we'll deselect now. So there we've got that dark line. It's a bit black, isn't it? So we can just turn down the opacity a bit so it's not quite so, so garish when we get to it. Um, we could even put a little bit of a blur onto it if we wanted to. Let's just turn it down a bit so we've got that effect. But you can see here already, turn it on and off. It's just putting a line around the outside. So there we go. A couple of things that you can do using the outline selection. That one there. Thank you very much for watching.